I'm Sister Heidi, I'm Preachers of Crescent Mary, and I'm so happy to know, love, and serve our Lord Jesus Christ in you. My name is Sister Tatiana, I'm a Preacher of Christ and Mary, and we seek uh, to work so that Jesus Christ may be known, loved, and served throughout the world. I'm Mother Maria Amador, and I'm a Preacher of Christ and Mary, because I'm following Jesus so that he be known, loved, and served through all the nations. God bless you. I grew up here in uh, Queens, Jackson Heights, a neighboring parish, Blessed Sacrament. I grew up there, I'm of Hispanic background, Colombian, as well as the sisters. I met the sisters when I was at Blessed Sacrament. So I was there as a regular parishioner when they came for the first time into the diocese in 2004. It was on uh, September 5th, 1995, in a very little uh, Colombian city called Villa Vicencio. When the Preachers of Christ and Mary received from the church the blessing to start this adventure, embracing a particular charism to enrich the body of the Christ. I have been here for about seven years and a half. I was so broken. I was 23 years old when I started to know the community. Before that, I was working, I had my boyfriend, I had everything, and I had a really good job. But I, inside of my heart, it was like an emptiness, and also it was a sense of my my heart is broken. By participating in this youth group, I start to know who is Jesus Christ and how he can embrace my life. So I know the community. That was just amazing. Their joy, I can experience their joy. That just ignite my faith. Ignite everything that I am. So for me, Haiti is that woman that has been restored by God, living in a religious life, living in a community and also learning who I am and what are my talents, how can I offer those talents to the world. And the sisters came in with the initiative of starting a youth group, but not just a regular youth group. They wanted to start a youth group that involved theater. So they began to kind of like promote that there was an event, that there was going to be a theater a person coming in, a director from Columbia, and going to join a couple of uh, young people and sort of like start some kind of theater ministry. I went just kind of out of curiosity and from just starting to work with the sisters, we started getting involved in different events. And one thing led to the next, next thing you know, I was uh, already involved in the religious education program. I was teaching CCD. I was um, attending to the different events the sisters were hosting. And I became more involved in like the organizational part of the events they hosted and that's how I kind of like got to know what they did, how they evangelized, how they lived as a community, what they did and the retreats, their spirituality, I kind of like began to learn more about them from there. The charism of our community uh, is defined as following Jesus Christ as an itinerant preacher so that he can be known, loved and served through all the nations. That's why we are here in New York, and according to our charism, uh, we want to contribute to the new evangelization mission of the church here in the Diocese of Brooklyn and Queens. By contemplating Jesus Christ, we offer to the world, basically what we're trying is promote His humanity. By promoting His humanity, we try to embrace and promote also the human dignity of every single person. So we try to work really hard to offer different resources to help out to their human development. And how we can work that? We work that through five uh, different apostolic facets, which is events, also art, social work, our preaching. So we let them people know who is Jesus Christ. And while we are trying to do that, while we are just seeking to do that, because we believe that when we approach every single person to let them know who is Jesus, they can also find and also we can help them to raise their dignity as a human being. That's what our charism offers. And I think it is also connected with my vocation as well. I think like every other congregation in, in, in the diocese, we focus on something different, right? That different people can relate to, whether it's their talents, whether it's their preferences. 
Our community offers being able to evangelize through the arts, which I think here in Brooklyn, we have a lot of artists all over, right? Whether it's you're an artist of theater, you act, you dance, you sing. Our community, whether you don't have to particularly know how to dance or how to sing, our desire is to be able to spread the gospel through the arts, right? Allowing for that most special and most unique aspect of a person to be expressed in order to evangelize, to allow Christ to be known, loved, and served. So I think that's what makes our community different, that we do the same evangelization other congregations do through teaching, through hospital work, but we do it through the arts. We want to commit our lives to contribute in that very particular mission of the church, that is the new evangelization. We want to evangelize, and we want to evangelize because we want to reach every human being, and that person can be, and can have, and can develop a relationship with, with Jesus Christ, who loves us, and who is alive, and who is among us. And we use the, the arts for that reason, and we use the media, and we use every way to talk about that such love that God has for us, for everyone. We're here at Elmhurst in Queens. This is the parish of St. Bartholomew. This is where we live, and it's also where we come for daily Mass, all of us together every morning. After we have Mass, we head over for breakfast and we are ready to begin our ministry. So join us. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Come Holy Spirit and have us definitely discovered the astounding beauty of Christ. Our charism is, a, is a still significant today because it inspires us to accomplish an evangelization with a new style. A new style because we are looking for a new expression, new methods, and a new ardor to, do, to accomplish that mission of the church. So that, that commitment uh, was an invitation of our own Saint Jean Paul II because he says, okay, you go for it and evangelize all the nations through a new evangelization, new in its methods, in its ardor, and its uh, expression. We took that uh, commitment by heart. So that's why our mission comes from the faith in Jesus Christ, who is alive, who lives among us, and he loves us. So our mission, it comes from that. We want to share that we have a personal relationship with Jesus because He's alive. He's alive and He lives am am among us. And our mission comes as well from the, from the church, from the foundation of the church. Our church is calling us to evangelize. In our congregation, um, born in that spirit, we have been called as a community to the new evangelization. So we try to find new forms, new methods to let the people know who is Jesus Christ. More than that is helping the others to restore and raise the human dignity. So why nowadays is so important our charism? Because we want to let the people know how important you are as a human being. And by knowing that, you can know Jesus. New York, we're surrounded. It's like the, the mecca for, for the arts, right? We have Broadway, we have uh, so many young people that are constantly, I mean, people come in from all over the states and even sometimes from all over the world to come and have some kind of connection to the arts. And so this is where people want to come in and we're here. God brought us here for some particular reason and here we are. Just like consecrated life itself, I think in present society, it appeals to people because it expresses a sense of hope, religious life in general. And I think our congregation expresses hope in the sense that what may seem so secular to people, which is the arts, which is theater, which is music, which is dance, has a hope that that can be used in a very positive way to evangelize, right? To allow others to have that connection with Christ. So I think I would encourage uh, young women to, to join the congregation and 
and see that what can seem so secular can really be a great method or a great route to bringing others to Christ. As a preachers of Christ and Mary, we think that the arts are very good ways to talk to the new contemporary human being, okay, about, about that mystery um, that is God. For that reason, we, we try everywhere. When we, when we go to a new mission, we try to form a theater group, a dance group, and we invite different um, artists to join that mission. Because as Jean Paul II said, artist, the church needs you. Needs you to make visible God in this world. I think one of our richness that we have as a community is that we, we are open that every single person can find the best way to be the best person that they are called to be. Do not be afraid to serve because before we start to know, love and serve. But nowadays, when someone invite, invite a young person to serve, they just go through it. By serving others, you can know who is Jesus Christ. By discovering your talents, you can also offer those talents to the others. So do not be afraid to discover who you are and put on service what you have. One of the things that are our charism is very, very actual. It's a very strong res uh, answer in this time. is because we want and we approach the human being from their different uh, aspects and different uh, dimensions. For example, the humanity, the culture, the faith involves everything. When we approach a, a young woman or men or adults or children, we are seeing in that person a human being. And the human being is the way through God is visible, is Jesus. And Jesus is visible today through the church but the church is visible through, through the human being. I just recently started a new pastoral mission at St. Joseph Cathedral, and I'm working with the youth ministry and helping out as a leader of the youth ministry. I will start a seniors outreach. We as a community, we are planning and we are preparing a pastoral plan. What we want to do is just ignite the faith of, of the people around San Joseph Cathedral. My field basically is young people, children, and seniors. Most of the time I have been working with young people, junior high school and high schoolers. My first duty is trying to respond to my personal vocation, being a consecrated woman to God. And I'm working as well in St. Joseph the Co-Cathedral. I'm part of a team to motivate the new evangelization in St. Joseph. We are helping with the religious education program. We are helping in the parish, in these different programs. We are trying to accomplish the new evangelization in that parish. My first uh, duty is being a, a nun, trying to be a good nun before God's eyes. Uh, but my second duty is, is being the person who now is um, motivating the community, motivating my fellow sisters to be the same, to try to do God's will in their lives, trying to, to seek God's will in this moment for, for our community, to respond to this time, to be part, to be active part of our society, to help the poor people, because that's a, another part of our charism, is the, the social development. Okay, that our faith, our, our, our vocation, try to, to develop society as well. We're trying to do this, and, and now I'm the person who is together with them uh, motivating this, this project, this special project. We're here, it's brand new. We just got here, I want to say, um, I think it was April we got here. It's been beautiful. I mean, it's it's like being at home. The people have been very receptive of us. Uh, our, our pastor here, Father Rick, has also been great. And it's just being able to, to live in community and, and, and what we've been focusing on. Although we do minister at different locations, here it's kind of like where we join, where we gather, where we congregate and recall who we are, what we do, what our spirituality is, what our foundation is. and. You know, we, we support each other, we build each other up to, to then go out into the different ministries that we each have. But that's the way I see it. This is kind of like the uh, nourishing environment for us in terms of our spirituality and our charism.
Sister Lucy, she is a DRE here at St. Bartholomew. So she's been working here at St. Bart's, uh, I would say four years now. Um, and she just pretty much works with the kids of the religious education program, the catechists and the parents. Often when we think of religious ed, we think it's just kind of like working with the kids, but it's really this three-dimensional um, aspect, which is the parents, the catechist, and the kids. And so she works in that. And Sister Mafe, uh, she's starting to, to get involved in, again, bringing the theater into the parish. Uh, so she's starting a little theater dance uh, group with the younger kids, kids who you know are, I think, 11 years and younger. And again, bringing them to, to get in touch with the arts, but not just the arts, the arts that evangelize. It is an amazing experience because I believe that when we relate with other people, when we share our life, we start to know more about who we are, who I am as an individual. So to live with them, it is also a learning about who I am as a Christian, as a woman, as everything. So we help each other build up everything, like in all the aspects of our humanity. We are from Colombia and most of our sisters are from Colombia. We really are open to receive girls from many other places because we are called to preach the whole world and the whole world is people from Mexico, Filipinas, Peruvians. The most important thing is just come. It is a family. It is a group of ladies that just, we just want to seek in the others the beauty of Jesus Christ. We say one thing that when we are close to the human being, we are close to God. That's one of our prayers, actually, in our daily prayers. So do not be afraid. Even if, if it is here, preachers of Christ in Mary, or it is in another community, even any uh, different ministry that our church offers, do not be afraid to discover who you are and put your talents in service.